Sabrina, sorry to bother you on such short notice, but I'm going on a business trip tomorrow for two nights. What? Tomorrow? That's really sudden. Right, I'm sorry. But it's only for two nights, so don't be sad. I'll be home late again today, so I'd appreciate it if you could pack my things. Okay. I'll miss you even for two nights, but good luck. Thanks. I'll definitely get you some souvenirs. I'm sorry I have to cancel the date day after tomorrow. No choice. I'll be waiting for you with souvenirs. Let's go on a date next time. It seems like you've been traveling a lot lately, and you've been working a lot of overtime. Well, I don't really like business trips, but the boss says he's counting on me, so I'll do my best. Great, do your best. I miss you, though. Don't feel that lonely. I know, but it can't be helped. I'll be waiting for you with your favorite dishes when you come back. Come home soon. Thanks. I'm glad I married you. You understand me better than Mom. No way. I can't beat your parents. Your mother and father are really great parents. They love you. You think so? They were like that from the beginning, so I'm not sure. They are. That's why you grew up to be such a kind person. You're good at your job and a kind husband. I'm really happy. Thank you. Oh, by the way, do you remember my friend Megan? Who's that? My best friend in high school, remember? We were in the same club in class, and she was my best friend. She also came to our wedding. Maybe I remember her, but I forgot her face. What about her? I just remembered she said she joined your company at the beginning of this month. Oh, that Megan. She's cute, I remember. Have you talked to her at work? A little bit, but there's not much time to talk, and we don't have in common. We're in different departments anyway. I see. Her type is a guy with a face like you, and you like a girl like her, so I was kind of jealous. I know you guys see each other every day, and I wouldn't like it if you get along with her. That would never happen. Don't worry. Besides, isn't she married too? You went to her wedding, right? Yep, she's married. So I know that there's no need to be jealous. Well, since you're a boss and she's an employee, I guess I'm stupid for worrying about it. That's right. We really don't have much to do with each other, so don't worry. Thanks. Forget about what I said. She said you're hot the other day, so I was just wondering if there was something going on. I see. Well, sure, she's cute, but we're just coworkers. We're both married, so there's absolutely no way something is going on between us. And I love you. Right. She said you're so dedicated to your work that the boss always compliments you. Well, that's true. I'm just trying my best to make you happy. Thanks. Okay then, I'll get ready for your business trip. Thank you. I'm going back to work. Did you finish your work? I'll be waiting for you with your favorite food. Come back home soon. Thank you. Hey, did you cook already? Not yet. I just bought foods. Why? I'm not sure if I can come home today. Really? Are you that busy at work? Yeah. I told you it would be for two nights, but I might not be able to finish by the end of the day. Maybe I'll have to stay for another night. Oh. I miss you, so I'll do my best to come home today. I know you're lonely by yourself, and you've prepared dinner for me. Don't worry about me. It's work. I don't have any choice. Good luck with your work. Thank you. I'll call you later. Sorry, I can't go home today. I see. No choice. You'll be back tomorrow, right? Yeah. I'll be home tomorrow. Just wait one more day. I'm really sorry. That's okay. Don't worry about me. Then I'll make you food tomorrow. Hang in there for one more day. Thanks. I can work harder since you're waiting for me. By the way, I saw Megan posting a picture on her timeline earlier. It said she was traveling to Chicago. Really? Yeah. It seems like you guys happen to be in the same place. What a coincidence! Is she traveling with her husband? 
I don't know, it didn't say anything about who she was with or anything. It was just a picture. Maybe I'm overthinking, but you guys aren't together, are you? Huh? No way. I'm by myself from the company on business trip. Woman can't come. Besides, I told you, I'm only interested in you. There's no way I'm secretly traveling with other girl. Right, I'm sorry that I suspect you. That's okay, but it's such a coincidence. I know, that's why I was a little worried. I understand you. If it were the other way around, I'd be worried too. But I really didn't know she was in Chicago. Is she taking a day off to travel? I don't know about that either. We don't usually talk much or get involved. Right. I'm sorry for saying this to you. I know you're working hard. It's okay. Serena, you never used to be jealous. What's wrong with you lately? You used to be calm. Ever since she joined our company, something's weird with you. I know. What's wrong with me? But don't you worry about it anymore. I'm not bothered anymore. You explained it to me properly. Okay. You can talk to me anytime. But you work hard and care about me. I have no complaints, and I don't have any right to say such thing. But we shouldn't keep secrets between a couple. So I want to have a relationship where we can say whatever we feel. Right, got it, thank you. Well, good luck at work. I know it's lonely being alone, but give me one more day. Thanks for such a great meal yesterday. How many times do you thank me since yesterday? It must take time to cook a meal like that. I came home from the business trip and I was really happy to see the food lined up on the table. I was about to burst into tears. You're overreacting. I like to cook and I made more for our anniversary than I did yesterday, so I'm used to it. It's nothing special. I'm glad you're such a great cook. I'm still learning though. I still ask my mom to teach me how to cook when I go home. You're still learning? You're great enough. I'm not there yet. Megan is a better cook than me, and I have to learn from her too. That's true. Huh? Have you tried her food? Uh, no. I've seen her bringing lunchbox, so... So I just thought she was good at it. I've never tried it, but it looked good. I see. Then I'll have to make better lunchbox too. It's not just about the taste. It's also about how it looks. It's already perfect. Thanks for saying that. Oh, by the way, I'm having lunch with Megan today. Oh, have fun. Yep, thank you. Then I'll have your homemade lunchbox. I made your favorite orange chicken today, so you can work hard after lunch. Yay, thank you. I'll do my best. Megan, you're going to lunch with Sabrina today, right? If she asks you anything, tell her you don't have anything with me. Also, I didn't mention it, but you posted the pictures of our trip on social media, didn't you? Sabrina noticed it, so be careful. I managed to make it up, but it's a little bit dangerous. No way, Kevin, you were cheating on me? Um, no, this is a mistake. Please pick up the phone. Sabrina, you're misunderstanding. Let me explain. What am I misunderstanding? That business trip was a lie? No, she forced me to go. So? Even if you were forced to go out, you chose to go out, so that's no excuse whatsoever. I'm really sorry. I wasn't thinking seriously. I wasn't trying to have an affair. I'd like to know how you can think traveling with another woman when you have a wife is not cheating. This is not your first time, is it? After all, she gave you homemade food, right? Yes, but let me make an excuse. What? You told me I work hard every day, right? Yes, I did. That's a fact. There were times when I didn't get a day off, and there were many months when I had to work overtime, so you could at least allow me a trip or two. Excuse me? You didn't go on just any trip, like the ones you go with your friends. It was an affair and you lied about going on a business trip. That proves you that you have something to hide. I didn't go with that kind of intention. That's just the way you see it. 
Everyone would see it the same way I do. That message you were supposed to send to Megan earlier is the proof. And I could immediately picture your face, desperate to hide things from me. If you're gonna say like that, try working every day like I do. If you knew the stress I'm feeling, you'd understand why I need to take a break. You can at least forgive me for cheating on you for the third year. I was working until last year, and when I came home from work, I made dinner and cleaned the house. I didn't have time to relax. That was last year. I'm complaining about the mental stress I'm feeling right now. Well, you're the one who said I didn't have to work. It didn't bother me to work and do the housework at the same time. And I said I'd continue to work because I wanted to be with you. I may have said that, but if that's the case, then you should have told me how you thought. I did tell you that you didn't have to work, but you quit your job as I said so. Are you trying to one-up me? We talked about this topic every day for about a month. I have proof. I've deleted the messages, so I don't have proof. I don't know anything about that. What are you talking about? I have the evidence. You know what? We're getting divorced. Divorce? Are you serious? That's a little too sudden. Of course, you went on a trip to have an affair, and on top of that, you didn't admit it right away. You made it sound like I was making you overwork. I'm sorry, my bad. I admit that I'm cheating on you, so please reconsider. It's too late. Actually, I didn't know she was your friend when she first came to work. I never thought you were her friend. That's a lie too anyway, right? This is true, believe me. I mean, if we weren't friends, would you have cheated on her more? You think I found it out because we happen to be friends? No, not like that. Whatever it is, it sucks. So whether or not I knew about Megan isn't an issue. Whoever it is, the fact that you are cheating on me is a problem. You're having an affair with other girls anyway, right? I don't trust anything you say anymore, so you shouldn't waste your time making excuses. By the way, Megan's husband is a lawyer. Aren't you in trouble? A lawyer? I never heard anything about that, but I don't think he's found out yet. You want me to tell him? I'm sorry for him, but things got worse over here. I can't forgive them that they are living happily while we're in such a bad situation. They're going to find out anyway, so there's no need for you to tell him. There's no need to make things worse now. I want to tell him. Besides, if I give you guys time, you'll delete the messages and photos and destroy the evidence, right? Well, I've taken screenshots for the evidence of what I already know. Then I'll go apologize to her husband. That's enough, right? How can I trust you? Then come with me, and then let's hear what he is going to ask you for the responsibility. It'll make the whole conversation go a lot faster. That's a good idea. Responsibility? Is there a problem? How does he want me to take the responsibility? I'll send you living expenses every month from now on, so forgive me. I can't believe this verbal agreement. I'll go through my lawyer to get divorced. Are we really going to get divorced? I don't want to. I don't want to be with someone who cheated on me once because you'll do it again. My parents were the same. I think you know, but my dad used to make my mom cry a lot. I saw that scene. And I've decided I'd never be the same. And yet, I can't believe I chose a man like you to marry. I'm disappointed in myself, but I'm even more disappointed in you. I really won't do it again. I will definitely make you happy. From now on, I won't even make excuse that I'm tired of working. You should do that to the next person you marry. I just texted Megan, so come home right now. Wait, what did you tell her? She said her husband's home right now, so I told her to wait for me at home. We're going to visit them, so hurry up. I'm at work right now. It's okay, I called the company. The boss said he'll let you go home now. Nice company. Yeah, the boss just said I should go home now and fix with my family problem. Are we really going there? 
You're the one who said it, to apologize in person. That wasn't a lie, right? I did say that, but I'm going alone, so you don't have to come. I know you'll lie and tell me that you went to apologize without actually visiting them. I'll go with you, because I have to see you apologizing with my own eyes. You don't have to go that far. We were a nice couple for three years, Sabrina. You weren't that kind of person. You were more kind, weren't you? You made me this way. Then apologize sincerely to Megan's husband, and then let's get divorced. I'm scared of you. Really? You should be thankful I didn't ask you anything crazy. Then hurry up and come home. Okay. We both went to Megan's house and apologized deeply to her husband. We discussed, and we all decided to get divorced. I asked Kevin for the property division, and he had no choice. He was demoted from his position at the company. His salary was reduced, and his salary was not enough to pay the property division. Now, he works night shifts at 7-Eleven, and he is more exhausted than ever.